Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. Today I'm going to show you how to make these shaded arcs and uh, add the data points. It's a little bit involved, so I'm actually going to break this up into a couple of different video segments so that you can focus on the area that you want and need more most help on. So the way we start the data is this is probably what your data looks like already. It's got a price, age, demand, whatever your columns are. So you're going to need to add another column for type. And you're going to indicate your data is in the data field. And then you have arc 1, 2, and 3. Now, if you want only one arc, you can just do arc 1, arc 3, 4, 5, 6, however many arcs you want, you can put that in. What these are, um, what their names are, aren't necessarily important. Now we have path. For each arc, you need a path 1 and to 102. Uh, the 102 is not necessarily a magic number, but it's enough data points to make your you know, arc look very smooth, make the curve look smooth. So we've gone with the 102. Experiment with other numbers if you want, but you need the 1 and the 102 for the beginning and the end. Next, we go to a new sheet. And once we get here, we're going to do a couple things. First of all, we're going to, on paths, we're going to create bins. And I've already done that, so I'm going to show you what that looks like. The suggested bin size between the 1 and the 102 is 26.9. We want to get rid of that. We want to make it a 1. And what this will do is this will create, um, and I'll show you in a second, but this is going to give you a 1 through 102. The other thing we're going to do is create this arc radius. And so this is saying if the arc is, arc, if the type is arc 1, then it's going to be a radius of 4. If it's arc 2, 7, arc 3, 10. And if you wanted to get really involved, uh, you can make these parameters as well, and then you can show parameters that could be very dynamic with the user. But that's for a different video. Now here is going to be the really tricky one. We're going to walk through this one, and this is what we're going to spend most of the time on in this video. This is the x-axis. Um, so this first, it's saying if it is the first data point, if first equals zero, uh, that's a function first. It's like index, it just gives you, uh, indicates how far away from the first uh, record you are. If it's the first one, we're going to make it a zero. And if it's the last one, and this backs away from the last record, make it a zero, then zero. And that's going to give us the zero point right here on this chart here. Now, we have two uh, trigonometry functions. We're going to do cosine for x. We're going to use sine for, for the y-axis. And what you have in here is, uh, this is this is going to give you, if you remember, you can think of a triangle, cosine is going to give you the straight portion here based on the angle, right? And the angle, the cosine here is done on in radians, which is another measurement. Most of us deal with degrees. And to go a full 360, it's 2 pi. If you wanted to do just a half circle, it would be pi. We're looking at a quarter, so we're going to do pi divided by 2. And then we are going to divide that by the number of um, data points we have. And we can play a little bit around with this, but this is uh, put in 100. And I'll, we'll tweak it here and I'll show you. And so that is going to say, okay, given this 90 degrees, this full range here, divide it by 100. And then for each record, each index, we're going to multiply that by the index. So it's going to take, it's going to have this first angle. First data point is going to be here. Move this out of the way. And then we're going to move here, 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 here. And we're going to have 100 data points. And it's going to make that outer arc. 
minus one because the first one is going to be zero, remember? And so we want this to record this data point here. So we're going to make the second one equal, you know, one or zero. Now, and now we're going to multiply it by the uh, radius. Showed you that function just a second ago. Now you'll notice that there's a max. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to show you here. If you get rid of this, and you'd say, well, can't I just do the arc radius? And look at the error. You need an aggregate function. All right. So I say, well, I've done that before. I'll just do a max and I'll change it to an aggregate. The problem is when you do just the max, you're only, this record here has only got um, one value. And what you need is you want this arc radius for all, all the way down for all these data points. And so that's why we come and we say max, window max. All right. Now we walked through the formulas and like I said, the sign is very similar. There's a little tweaks here. We had 100 before, this is 101. We had an index minus one, this is minus two. And I'll show you where you tweak that. Go into a new record. We're gonna bring the bins to rows. Now, what we need to do is it's got the bins, if you remember, we only have one and 102. Those are the only data points we have. If we left click, there's an option here called show missing values. Click that. Much like the date, it has show missing values. Now you need to get it up on either the rows or columns and do showing missing values there. Uh, it doesn't work if you do it over here. So now we're going to change this to a polygon and we're gonna move this to the path. We will now move the X axis to columns and change it so it's computing using the, the path bin. We wanna use all those 102 data points. We can do the same thing for the Y. We're gonna use those data points. And now we have a circle. Now, look up here. You can see that it's not quite where you want it to be lined up. So you might say, this is where you'd say, um, maybe needed more data points. And now it's all lined up. The reason I made the change is because when you bring the type to color, the gap is there again. Apologize, I do not know exactly why it works that way. It has something to do with the type, obviously, but I don't know what. Okay, so this is what we've got. This is our arc. Make sure you can get to this point. This takes a lot of effort to, to get through and understand. And on the next, on the next video, I'm going to show you how to add the data points.